Good morning, folks. This is Dan, the DIY man from Lake Orion, Michigan, and we got a cold one out there today. Five degrees, and my little convection heater there is laboring to get that temperature up. But as we wait to get to uh, spraying temperature, I thought I'd uh, discuss the temporary paint booth that I erected in the corner of my garage here. I actually did it back after Thanksgiving, I believe. And I didn't want to feature it until I had used it. And I can tell you it's been very effective for what I need to do. The dimensions of this is approximately nine feet, nine and a half feet by 10 and a half feet. And it's about 11 feet tall. And the way I constructed this was I anchored the corner at this end and the corner at this end with a uh, ripped two by six by 10 board I bought. It's womanized wood, but it doesn't have to be. And I essentially put screws two feet from the top and bottoms on each of those boards. And then I ran six mil plastic around the perimeter. I laid out everything in my dining room because at the time I was refinishing my dining room, our dining room set. So I had a good area, a layout area to mark the plastic. And I was able to actually do this all by myself and when I actually erected the booth I screwed each of the boards on the two corners into a stud but I didn't screw them all the way in <clears throat> and I cut slits on the six mil plastic it's a uh, nine foot I believe yeah nine foot uh, width so I cut slits that corresponded to the screws on each of the boards. And then I slid the plastic behind the board as I was erecting it and then would staple it all the way down with a few staples to hold it in place. Now in the corner, the way I did the corner here, where I didn't have a wall, I bought a telescopic painter's pole with a brush attachment. And at the top, I put Velcro on a brush as well as a ceiling to attach it to the ceiling. And at the bottom, what I did was I bought a special Velcro that attaches to cement but to anchor it better I got a cap as you can see from a paint can to get a bigger piece of velcro to attach to the velcro on the the uh, corresponding velcro on the floor and then put the pole into the paint cap and I can say I've had no problems several months into this and at the top along with I was fortunate to be able to also tie some wire off of the structure that holds my garage door opener to also help anchor the top and as you can see as I'm pointing up I've also ran four clamps down the pole in the corner, which helped stabilize the plastic. And in terms of ventilation, I'm fortunate enough to have two windows. One where I bring fresh air in to the outside of the paint booth where I have a, my furnace running. And then another window where I insert that box fan you see to exhaust 
the air out of the paint booth. And on the opposite wall from the window, I have another opening with a filter bringing fresh air into the paint booth. Now, at the top, since I have 11 foot ceilings, I bought uh, less expensive plastic, I think it's one mil, and just tacked it around, around the perimeter with thumbtacks to seal it up. That was quite easy. But the best feature is this door. And the zipper door ran me roughly 20, 20 some dollars, and it was well worth it. It's seven feet high. You can make it as wide as you want. It comes with a special cutter. You apply the zipper to the plastic before you cut the plastic. And then the, the special cutter they have, they run it through the zipper and it cuts the opening for you. And I made mine three and a half feet wide so I could widen up so I could run material in and out like this armoire that I'm currently working on. And as you can see, you can roll the door up and it fits in a little cradle that comes with the zipper door. So you can walk in and out freely. as you're uh, doing your work. Now, as you can see at the top of my boards that anchor each of the ends, I put eye hooks so I could run a light, an LED light above the table, which worked out quite well. Of course, I have a, a floor lamp here that also provides additional light. I have a few cabinets at this corner of the garage, so I just draped them with plastic. No big deal there. But I can tell you this is, uh, this has worked out quite well, beyond my expectations actually. And when I'm done using it, the intention is that I can actually roll it roll it up and store it in my basement. Just hang it from the ceiling in my basement in one of the storage rooms. So uh, next time I need it next winter, I can break it out again and put it together. It took me, didn't take me, but uh, maybe a half hour to actually put the main structure up. And then, of course, the plastic on top took me a little bit longer, but it wasn't difficult. The whole paint booth ran me roughly $100, give or take. So, uh, you know, I looked at a lot of different designs and decided to create my own here, and it's worked out quite well. So, anyway, um, this is a little bit longer than my normal video, but... I think it was well worth uh, sharing with you guys. And for those of you that have a similar configuration in your garage, um, this has worked out well. As, as you can see, I also have a staging area right before you walk into my paint booth. Of course, the downside of this is I gotta park my car outside the garage. And so uh, that hasn't been a big deal, but but regardless, have a great day. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel or give me a like or comment on what you see. So have a, have a great day and talk to you later.